Hey guys, welcome back to another Switch 301 video. And no, we're in a huge storm. This is a very random way to enter a video, but who cares? Yet today we are at a random mountainous airport. And as you can see, it is snowing heavily. In fact, it's actually kind of hailing a bit. And maybe you have seen pictures like those before. Yeah, this happens when you fly in a hailstorm, which is something that you always want to avoid, of course. You know, if you fly into, you know, a herd of birds, then you might get a similar result. But this is what happens when you fly into a hailstorm. Storm. And that's what we're kind of doing today. Oh my goodness. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is more of like a snowstorm, but with very, very heavy snow, which can also damage a lot. And then we also have a lot of wind. Now we're going to customize the weather to a very, very thick snowstorm that we are going to fly into. We're also going to challenge, you know, the autopilot a bit. But yeah, this is already going uh, very crazy. Look how angled this rain or hailstorm is. For some reason, you cannot really hear anything in the cabin normally. Even an X-plane, you could hear your stuff, but now you cannot. Now, later on, we'll also fly some airbuses and challenge their auto land system. And oh my god. Now, you can actually see that this is a very, very thick hailstorm, Jesus. And the wind is also going crazy. A F. Oof. 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 You know, the thing about snowstorms is that it's very cold, and that's very dangerous, especially for engines. And there's a high chance of the engines actually breaking as well, which you obviously do not want. But especially when the hails are really, really big. It's like having a bird strike 24-7. Yeah. Oh no, a bird strike. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Now, I don't know if the birds are fine, but they're somewhere flying. Yeah, here they are. I don't think they're doing that well in that wind. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they're absolutely dead. I'm um, talking about dead. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, I didn't see that one coming. So we overstressed the G-limits of the wings, and um, they basically fell off, which does happen quite a lot in real life as well. So this was a very realistic flight. Let's go ahead and take off, shall we? Otate time. That was more of like a tail strike time. Oh, God. Also, there's a high chance of getting into a microburst or something. I don't know what it's doing right now. It's kind of doing weird stuff. Oh, yep. You do not like this. You do not like this. Maybe we should try surviving this time around. Oh, no. Birds again. So the left engine is now dead. Let's try landing back at the airport. We might actually run into to a challenge here. I think our left engine is dead, so we have to cut that one off, which we just did. Oh, did we cut the wrong one off? Oh, no, we didn't. Let's kill the fire as well, and let's go ahead and return back to the airport. We have 80 knots of wind. We're gonna die. I mean, right behind this airport, there is a huge lake uh, that we can land on, you know, Sully style. Oh, wow, oh, wow. We're running into a bit of clouds. I think this airport even has ILS, so uh, we might want to use that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Let's not die. Okay, here's the airport. All right now we have tailwind, which is really really not good. We have to make sure not to stall out, which we are not doing, actually. That's fine. The fire alarm should also shut up. All right, let's uh, try returning back to this airport. Not very comfortable, but I'm a pro pilot, so this should not be a problem. Let's uh, get rid of some speed and then come down for a nice butter landing. I don't know why the left engine is still burning. I actually put the fire out. At least I think I did. Okay, so the fire is finally out. We can see there are no particles coming out of the left engine, so it's actually dead. I do not have a lot of visibility. Let's not die. Now, sometimes I wonder how American Airlines... Now, sometimes I wonder how a 7... Now, now, sometimes I wonder how... Now, sometimes I wonder how an American 737... Air, Jesus. Now, sometimes I wonder how an American Airlines 737 gets here, but that is a whole nother st story to ta talk about. The thing about this airport is that it has a very, very steep approach angle. It's very similar to London City. You know, at normal airports, you have an approach angle, a glide slope angle of uh, around 3 degrees. Here you have an approach angle of... Oh, no, 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 no. <clears throat> this did not happen. This airport has an approach angle of four. Oh, wow, we're going 80 knots. Jesus Christ. Oh, no. Speed. I am speed. So, yeah, this airport has an approach angle of four. Ah, four degrees. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I should really focus on flying. Ah, oh, the aircraft. We don't use cheats here, though. Eh. London City also has an approach angle of around four degrees. As you can see right here, we are actually very, very low on the glide slope. Even though this airport is far below and we do have to descend a lot to get down. So yeah, this is a very challenging airport. Those are not perfect conditions, you know, having one engine run in a freaking hailstorm. At least we don't have to see uh, structural damages here. Most probably the nose part of the plane would be just gone and half of the wings would also be just gone. Oh no, flap over speed, which uh, will result in absolute death. Okay, now this is a very, very, very bad flight. Oh no. Okay, so uh, part of our wing has actually set Separated, which is not good. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. 
smoothly. Did you just see that maneuver? I almost crashed into those trees, but I didn't because I'm a pro pilot. I didn't. I'm a pro. Okay, now I have decided to uh, land in water. Life is a disappointment. Let's try approaching Milano Airport. This thing has ILS Cat 3, so let's try actually landing in auto land an Airbus A319. All right, so here we are in the snowstorm. This does not look comfortable already. Ah, uh, the FPS are horrible. This is gonna be uh, quite an horrendous flight, to say the least. Let's do the ILS approach into here and uh, see what the autopilot can do for us. All right, so here we are. Uh, we have spawned in. How do you disable the head shake thing? All right, the autopilot is now guiding this plane down to Earth. This is not looking like a good flight, but we're kind of still alive. Let's put the landing gear down and uh, let's sit back, relax, eat some coke and drink some popcorn and watch this plane land itself. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, hello, passengers. Um, we are going through some minor turbulence. This thing is holding up quite well. Let's see how well this thing is going to land itself. I mean, I was maybe not able to do that, but that was because of a broken wing and engine. So, uh, yeah, I'm still uh, better than the autopilot, right? It, yeah. right? Meanwhile, the rain is heavy, very heavy, actually. Boom, it's coming down. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, more speed, more speed, full power, full power. No, Oof. what have I done? I mean, we have not crashed yet, but I don't want to land this. I just want to eat popcorn. Why doesn't it want to go off? Come on, <clears throat> we might have to try this one again. You know, I'm a very uh, pro pilot. <clears throat> okay, nothing happened here, as always. And you know, obviously, a big snowstorm might also cause very, very low resolution. I mean, visibility. Let's get the visibility down. There we go. Less visibility. Oh, we cannot see anything. I think this was a bad idea. Oh, Jesus. We can't even see our own plane. All right, passengers. We are coming in for a butter landing. Don't worry. I mean, at this point, do we even need wipers? I mean, they don't really make sense anymore. So, okay, 2,500. This is all good. You know, we only have minor turbulence. Now, we don't have screaming sounds of passengers in this add-on plane. But I think there would be if there were any added to the add-on. Oh, oh, speed, speed. Yes, yes, yes. Speed. No, no, <laughs> no. Autoland has deactivated. Okay, I'm gonna do this like a real pro pilot now. I'm going to land this plane myself then by following the ILS diamonds that we see on screen right here. Okay, we have zero visibility. The only thing that we have is instruments, really. And we are kind of off to the right a lot. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. Oh, I don't see anything. This is, uh, this is hard. Alrighty. Oh, we're too low, too low, too low. Be too low. Holy f- Bang, ding, ow. Calm down. This is all good. This is all just fine. Perfect. Yeah, what did I tell you? Just calm down. I'm gonna land you now since you cannot do it yourself. Well, in fact, I probably just cannot activate it properly, but who cares? Let's just go ahead and land. Oh, nope. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. We might be a little low there. Oh, God. But we're not cheating. We're not skipping time at all. Oh, no, no. All right, so we're perfectly on center line and on light slope again, or maybe not. Oof. No, no, no. Fly by wire. Oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> that was, uh, uh, we didn't crash, did we? I mean, it kind of counts, doesn't it? Oh, no, 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 mountain. Yeah, retard. Retard indeed. Where is the runway? Oh, it's- Oh, come on. The airport is right here. Yeah, let's just taxi over to that tarmac. Look at that flight path. <laughs> After I took over the controls of this aircraft. I mean, the engines have quite a high temperature, I would say, but this went totally fine. Now, yeah, this might have not worked with auto land, and we have actually not made a successful landing today, but we learned something new, and that is you should not fly in a hail slash snowstorm, especially when you have no navigation or autopilot. It's uh, going to disappoint you. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. And dead. Extremely dead. Yeah. I mean, this plane is still kind of flying, but that's what we have the parachute for. Let's uh, deploy that one. And we're perfectly safe, aren't we? Now we're going to die anyway.